And good morning to you, Samika. You know, we've seen this exact program before during the pandemic. Hundreds of thousands of Texans use this money to help them pay for rent and utility bills. Well, the state is now restarting that program with $96 million. We're told it's probably going to be the last time that it is offered. The applications start being taken at 8 a.m. Here's what you need to do to get the assistance. Submit your application at TexasRentRelief.com. Now, you're going to have to create an account, and you will be asked to provide some financial information. So I encourage you to go to the website and go ahead and start that application process, or at least a process of creating an account. Now, if you need assistance, somehow you can't get through this, there is a phone number you can call. It is 833 8 excuse me, 833-989-7368. The money can be used for past due rent or future rent needs. It can also be used for past due utility bills or future utility bill needs. State officials say the money will definitely help to keep people in their homes. So we're seeing evictions rise to levels that were before COVID. Um, you know, the economy is good. We, we, have, we have good employment. There's always people that are struggling. Uh, you know, different industries have layoffs. So you have two weeks to get your application process. So if the website is running slowly today, I'm sure a lot of people are going to jump on it first thing at 8 a.m. But if it is running slowly, if you're having any trouble, don't worry. You have two weeks to submit your application. Uh, the money is uh, to be used for people who are on unemployment or who have otherwise been impacted by the pandemic. So that's a pretty wide category right there. Chances are, if you need the help, you will, apply, will be able to uh, get it. And, and if you received help in the past, again, we talked about this program, uh, having been going on during the pandemic. If you used it then, you can still apply and you can still get funds. We have links to the state's website and also to that phone number to help you if you have any issues on our website, abc13.com. Reporting live, Jeff Feeling, ABC 13 Eyewitnesses. Good morning to you guys.